of NBC's The Voice. Remember this man, Jamar Rogers, was a fan favorite and a semifinalist on the second season of The Voice, and he is here with us this morning along with Reverend Eric Williams with the Calvary Community Outreach Network. Thanks, guys, Thank for you. being here. We're so glad that you are here. Our pleasure. We're going to talk more with you, Pastor, about why he's here in just a moment, but first we want to get some wisdom from this man. <laughs> you told me once The Voice changed your yes. life. What yes. did that mean? What's your passion now? Well, you have to understand uh, as someone that's been living with HIV for eight years, it's very important for me to teach young people what it means to live well and to make wise decisions. But also my story is a story of triumph and letting people know that your past does not di dictate your future and that whatever you're going through today can actually be an avenue to give you biggest opportunities in your life. I love the smile on your face. Yes, you must be excited about life. I, I am. found out you're engaged now. I am. Who knew? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> yes, so we have to talk about the voice because yes, right now we have two, well, three actually people from Missouri. Congratulations, guys. I That's know. Awesome. Isn't that great? So we want to show you here. We have two Missouri, the set of twins, Cody and Clint oh, from no. Bernie, oh, yeah, Missouri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they call themselves Brothers Walker. And then we also have a solo artist, Patrick Thompson. He's from Festus, Missouri. That's <coughs> near St. Louis. So we got to get from you. What advice would you give them or maybe someone else who might want to audition for I the show? I would just, you know, specifically these three contestants, I would just say don't let your nerves get the best of you. Mm. I mean, yeah, you are performing in front of millions of people, but go out there and do what you were born to do. How That's do you simple. do that? Don't let your nerves, what? Well, you know what? You use those nerves to fuel you, okay. you know? I mean, okay. it helps you move around and get a little Mick Jagger on stage yeah. because of the nerves, you know? So oh, it's about wow. letting you running the nerves and not letting them run you. I love that. Yes, ma'am. All right, so let's talk a little bit about, with Reverend Williams now, about why you're here. You brought this man in because your community network that you've got going is having a big play. It's a big play called The Lot. Uh, this year's theme is happy. Uh, we understand the kids go through a whole lot of things, and sometimes that that life thing brings <laughs> sadness. Mm -hmm. sure. But you can always turn that frown around and, and make it a happy. And so we want we want we want Jamar to use his smile and his experiences uh, to 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 infiltrate the kids' hearts and their heads and give them hope. Uh, his story is just so tremendous, and we we just we just wanted to bring him here for the second episode of the lot. Lot was written and produced and choreographed by our kids, who will be on stage at Kaufman doing their thing, and their voices want us want to help to stop the spread of HIV and AIDS in Kansas City, to stop bullying, to stop this notion that you can't you can't report crime, and so they they you know kids listen to kids. They uh, do, and it's a power Powerful message. I was there last year. I'm going to be emceeing it as well. It's at the Kaufman Center for the Performing Arts. It is tomorrow at 9:30 and also 12:30. And people can still come. People can still come. We've got about 2,000 kids from all over the area: high schoolers, uh, Hickman Mills, Kansas City, Grandview, just all over the place. And we're excited about it. And, and it's absolutely free. It's tomorrow, absolutely. before yes, we go, you have to tell me what do you think of our kids, of our uh, youth that you're working with in this place. You have a lead role. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You know what? These kids are, they're, they're dedicated, they're professional, but I just feel like it's an honor to actually find kids' talent and bring that out of them, to be honest. So That's yeah. pretty amazing. What a blessing. Thanks, man. Oh. You guys, oh. thanks so much for being here. It's been amazing to have you. We want to remind everybody that The Voice is on tonight, right here on your 41 Action News station from 7 to 9.